Hey guys, welcome to my baking channel. Today, we will be making strawberry swirl cheesecake. I love cheesecake, especially when it's topped with strawberry jam. My strawberry swirl cheesecake is so creamy and rich and bursting with loads of strawberry jam. This is definitely a dream come true for every dessert lover out there. Let me show you how easy it is to make this delicious cheesecake. For this recipe, we will be needing the following ingredients. You can find the exact measurements in the description box below. Adjust your oven rack to the lower middle position and preheat your oven to 175 degrees Celsius. Grease and line the side of a 20 cm springform pan with parchment paper. I've already placed the 150 grams of graham crackers in a Ziploc bag. I'm now going to crush them by using the pestle of my mortar, just like so. You can also use a rolling pin and just roll it over the bag of graham crackers. In a medium mixing bowl, add the crushed graham crackers and the 80 grams of melted butter. Mix this until everything is well combined. Press the graham mixture firmly into the bottom of the springform pan. Place this in the fridge while making the cheesecake filling. In a large mixing bowl, add in the 600 grams of cream cheese, 100 grams of sour cream, 2 eggs, 250 grams of sugar, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, and 1 teaspoon of lemon zest. Beat this on medium-high speed just until everything is well combined. Please do not overmix this or else the cheesecake might crack in the oven. This is the consistency we are looking for. Cover your springform pan with aluminum foil, simply like this. We can now pour the cheesecake mixture into the prepared springform pan. I'm now going to take the 150 grams of seedless strawberry jam and add a few dollops. I'm so not skilled in making desserts look that pretty, but all I can say is that this cheesecake will taste absolutely amazing. I'm now going to do some marbling swirl effect by using a wooden skewer, just like so. Get a bigger baking pan and place your cheesecake in it. I've already boiled some water, which I'm now going to pour into the baking pan. I'm going to bake this for about 60 to 70 minutes. You can see that your cheesecake is done when it slightly wobbles in the center. I baked my cheesecake for 70 minutes. Turn off your oven and leave your oven door slightly open. We are just going to let the cheesecake sit this way for one hour. After removing your cheesecake from the oven, let it cool down completely before putting it into the fridge. This is how my strawberry swirl cheesecake looks like. I've chilled my cheesecake in the fridge overnight and I'm so going to eat a slice right now. Look how perfectly it turned out. This cheesecake is very rich and creamy and I absolutely love that it's generously topped with strawberry jam. This dessert is great for any occasion. I hope you enjoyed my video today. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more yummy recipes. Have a nice day and see you next time! Bye!